Oh, is that your oven preheated? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Things Tina Does. And yes, it has been a minute. What a year we've had. 2020, right? <gasps> okay, but here we are, and we're pressing on. I, want, I have so many things I want to show you guys. I'm so excited about all of these ideas that, that have just... Are coming out of me so <laughs> the first thing I want to show you is this time of year when the weather starts getting a little chilly a little cool I start craving these wonderful one pot meals and the one that I want to show you today is very very simple it's a fan favorite roasted chicken with vegetables it's so easy and we're gonna get right into it okay so first of all I got chicken thighs this is bone-in skin on there's a reason why we're gonna get to that a little bit later okay so take them out of the package we're gonna dry them with some paper towel i've got a nice mat under it okay so we're just going to keep everything sanitary that way so we just press the extra moisture out of these and so nicely these that i got they don't have a lot of extra moisture in them the reason that you want to pat them dry is so that you don't have extra moisture in there that's going to steam the chicken. You want it to get a nice caramelized edge on it around and the flavor that comes from that is just exceptional. Okay, so now we're going to, we've got our chicken patty dry. We're going to start with this right here. Oh, by the way, on this dish you can use salt, pepper, nothing else if you want. A staple in our kitchen is Tony Shakers. It's, if in doubt, this is a wonderful medium road just it seasons everything nicely but it doesn't overpower in one direction or another so if you're in doubt and you need just an all-purpose seasoning this is a good one works for poultry beef fish veg anything so it's really great so we're just going to use a little bit of this we're not going to overload it because this tony shakers does have a little bit of a kick to it so depending on how much of that extra spice if you have caliente lovers in your household then you can use a little extra right but when I'm doing for for the fam I just kind of do middle of the road we're gonna flip our chicken over so that we can season the other side and one of the wonderful things about this dish that I love is it's so simple and it's so fast to put together all right we've got that done we're gonna season the other side just a little bit again i'm gonna overload everybody or else you'll have somebody going oh mom this is a little hot okay so we're not gonna do that okay now into our pan we go and at some point in time guys i'm going to tell you more about this wonderful roast because if you don't have something like this it's a great thing to get in your kitchen now, because this dish goes so fast, you're going to want to preheat your oven early on, probably before you even pull stuff out of the fridge, okay? Preheat your oven to 400. It's going to go at 400 for 15 minutes, and then we're going to turn it down to 350, okay? Now, we're just going to start piling this in. You notice I have no oil in this pan, no oil, nothing. This chicken goes in dry just with the seasonings on. Now, so in we've got the chicken, right? Now, in goes our veg. This is a medley of onion, carrot, celery, leaves included, okay? Reason for that is so much flavor. The nutrition, boom, okay? So you've got all these good veg. You notice that they're rough chopped, and I like to, I, I like to buy organic carrots when I can, and I just scrub them off. I don't peel them, okay? So I just scrub them off. All right? In goes the veg. All right? That's done. Looky there, okay? If you want a little bit of extra seasoning on the top or a little bit of extra salt and pepper, now's the time to do that. We're going to put a little bit more on. Look how beautiful that is, y'all. Doesn't that just look like fall in a pot? There we go. And in the oven it goes.
when that timer goes off, we're going to turn it down to 350, and we're going to let it go for about another hour. Okay? Oh, so great. In the meantime, you get all those other things done in your kitchen that you need to do. All right? We'll check back in about an hour 15. Okay, guys, it's been that extra hour. We're going to pull it out of the oven and see what we've got. <laughs> yes. Oh, and it smells so wonderful. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, lovely. Okay, we're just going to scoop this out. Oh, I want you to notice something, you guys, while I'm taking this out here. You remember that I added absolutely nothing to this, right? You remember that? It was just the chicken and the veg that went in, right? So here we have all that wonderful stuff. But look what has happened. While we roasted all of this, I have all of this beautiful stock in the bottom. And so guess what? Now we have $6 worth of bone broth that you don't have to go and buy at the store. So you can use that for your homemade chicken noodle soup or whatever you want. Anything that's calling for a good chicken broth, you've got it right there. And guess what? It's already pre-seasoned. How do you like that? Okay, now, what we usually serve this with in my family is just simply rice on the side. Um, if you like egg noodles, egg noodles is a wonderful accompaniment. If you're feeling a little bit, you know, you want something a little more stick to the ribs, do some mashed potatoes. That's excellent, too. You can take that broth that's left over, thicken it a little bit, and you've got a gravy. Bam. Done. How cool is that, right? So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you tune in. Hit that bell. Subscribe to our channel if you'd like. Tell all your friends and family about it. I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye-bye.